Growth investing involves putting money down on businesses that demonstrate growth in both profits and cash flows. As these businesses become more valuable, their share prices should also increase in tandem. Netting the investor capital gains. Growth, however, may come in spurts and is usually not even as a business takes time to sift out opportunities or build additional factories. Hence, you should track a business for regular corporate developments. These developments highlight management's efforts in growing the business and improving its top and bottom lines. We present three Singapore stocks with interesting business developments that you can monitor this month. Raffles Medical Group, or RMG, is an integrated healthcare provider that operates in 14 cities in five countries in Asia. Its network includes three tertiary hospitals and more than 100 multidisciplinary clinics that provide a wide range of medical services. Last week, RMG announced a strategic partnership with MyMy Trading to acquire a majority interest in American International Hospital AIH in Ho Chi Minh City HCMC in Vietnam. AIH's valuation was arrived at on a willing buyer and willing seller basis after factoring in the valuation of 45.6 million US dollars of the hospital asset conducted by Sovios Vietnam back in July. As part of this agreement, RMG will also enter into a management service agreement to manage the hospital. AIH was built in 2018 and is a 120-bed, fully equipped tertiary hospital with five operating theatres. The hospital offers a full suite of specialists and essential diagnostic services and is a Joint Commission International JCI accredited hospital. AIH is staffed by about 500 staff including 60 doctors and has seen steady growth in both inpatient and outpatient volumes. This acquisition enables RMG to enjoy the growing demand for private healthcare services while also complementing its clinic operations in Vietnam. The expansion is in line with the healthcare group's strategy to expand its presence outside of Singapore and China and to diversify its revenue streams. ESR Logos REIT, or ESRLR, is an industrial REIT with a portfolio of logistics, business parks and general industrial properties. Its portfolio comprises 81 properties across Singapore, Australia and Japan with total assets of around 5.5 billion Singapore dollars as of June 30, 2023. The manager of the RIT announced that 7002 All Misery Kyo Avenue 5 had recently completed its Asset Enhancement Initiative AUI. The AI involves the development of a multi tenanted, high specification building with a gross floor area of around 25,000 square meters for advanced manufacturing and data center tenants. With the completion of the AI, the property has secured an occupancy of 50% from two established companies. One is a provider of specialized logistics solutions for the electronics industry, while the other is a listed wellness and healthcare business that manufactures its range of premium beauty and wellness products. Elsewhere, ESRLR announced the divestment of 2 Tours South Avenue 2 for 53 million Singapore dollars representing a healthy 35.2% premium to its valuation of 39.2 million Singapore dollars. This divestment is subject to JTC Corporation's approval and should be completed by the fourth quarter of this year. SIIC Environment SIIC is engaged in wastewater treatment, water supply, sludge treatment and solid waste incineration. The group has an operating history of more than 15 years in China and has an overall portfolio of about 250 water treatment and supply projects in various Chinese provinces. SIC has signed an agreement to upgrade and expand its Soaswang City Shontain project. This project has a total design capacity of 50,000 tons per day. Of the total, 
The Zoswan City Shanting District WWTP Center project has a design capacity of 20. 000 tons per day and has been in commercial operation. The agreement will upgrade the discharge standard from Class 1 Standard A to Quasi Grade 4 while extending the concession period. The remaining 30,000 tons per day is taken up by the Zhaozhuang City Shanting District WWTP reconstruction and expansion project with a 30 year concession period. Both these projects are anticipated to add positively to the group's future performance. As a recap, SIC reported a healthy set of results for the first half of 2023-1H2023. Revenue increased by 9% year-on-year to 4 billion renminbi, with gross profit climbing 15.5% year-on-year to 1 renminbi. 4 billion. Net profit improved by 8.4% year-on-year to 593.6 million renminbi. By the time your child grows up, inflation will have gobbled up their savings. If you not only want to protect their money, but also grow it. There are three SGX stocks you can consider buying.